This is Bruce for FX Empire taking a look at gold. So we had a nice breakout off the bottom yesterday off a significant support zone potentially that may still be tested further, but that low should hold and it could hold for months, if not years, potentially. So we gapped up, we closed strong. Look at how it completed almost exactly a 38.2% Fibonacci retracement. And then today we have a new trend high, but then it stalled out with a narrow range day, potentially ending in a doji. So that tells us two things. If we go down, we're probably going down lower. If we go up, we're probably going up lower, barring a failure of either break. So a breakout above today's high, 1865. Next has gold targeting the 50% retracement at 1879, along with the previous support swing low here at 1885. So somewhere within this zone, high probability of being reached. And then we have higher levels up here, the 62% level, along with this previous support because potential resistance support because potential resistance combined with the 200 period moving average. A key here is the 200 because once we need to get above that and close above it and then start moving away from it to the upside before the uptrend is really kicking in again and where it's done with this uh, relatively significant correction, which actually started way up here. So on the downside, then, a drop below today's low of 1853 has gold first targeting yesterday's low of 1842, and then it's at risk of filling this gap. So if it gets into this gap, the chance of it filling the gap all the way down to this high of 1863 increases. That is it for gold traders. Have a great week.